what happens when Canva and ChatGPT comes together? Magic. Now, let's go create 30 Instagram reels using ChatGPT and Canva. Let's get into it. First thing we'll do is to log into ChatGPT and we're just going to put in chat.openai.com and then put in your prompt. I have my prompt already, so I'm just going to do Control V. And what am I saying here? I own a female spot web brand and made content for my Instagram page. See how specific I am. So when working with ChatGPT, you want to get as specific as possible and we want to give it enough information. We want to give it context, right? So that the things like the AI is giving you is not generic, but tailored to what you need. So I'm saying I own a female sports web brand and need content for my Instagram page. You can see I have put in the platform. So it knows, oh, I don't need a long type of content. What I need is something short. Things it is going on my Instagram page. Write 30 tips that will resonate with my target audience, with my target audience, which are female fitness enthusiasts. You can see I have given a bit of information about my target audience. And it knows that, okay, yes, this is writing for females that I also fitness, right? So, and I'm saying create one column for the tip, one column with three industry specific hashtags. I think I want to add more to this. So I'm just saying write 30 tips that will resonate with my target audience, which are female fitness enthusiasts. The goal is the goal is to motivate them. Okay. So it should be motivating. So when I did this, should I'm just going to I'm trying to set the tone better for this. So it should be motivating. Be motivating. And yet sound friendly. And witty. So I want it to sound friendly and witty. I don't want like let's say my brand voice is something that's friendly, witty, but not also strict. So I'm saying it should be motivating and yet sound friendly and witty. And I'm specifically saying do not number them. I do not want one, two, three, and all of that. No. Give me 30 without numbering. So next thing I'll click enter. And then you can see the result. Sweat like a girl, conquer like a queen. Your only competition is the person in the mirror. Strong mind, strong body, but stop. You see how motivating these tips are. They are so motivating and they are witty. Brilliant. So next thing we want to do is to copy. So I'm just going to go up. I'm just going to click all of this. Yeah. Then Control C. Go on to Canva under my template. So I'm just going to search for Sweets Real template once that loads up i will click any of the templates that i like okay i'm good with this then i'm going to customize this template you can also choose to create yours or if you have your brand templates this is the best time to use your branded templates you can also choose to create one from the scratch but for this tutorial i'll be using this template so here, I just want to reduce the text. I want to reduce the duration of this. I'm just going to reduce this duration and I just want it at 2.0. You can also, like I mentioned, easily create your templates, import your brand template and all of that. So let me increase the size of this. Now I want to begin to edit this. I want to write tip here, follow me. And you will see why I'm doing this. Then we get this Ctrl D right here. You're going to write hashtags. So what I'm saying basically is that my T will stay here and my hashtag to go here. So next thing I want to reduce this, the size of this in a little bit. Yeah. So I'll move this downwards. Then edit this to my brand name. Remember to edit. Edit this. You also have to edit the image. So I'm just going to edit this as well. Now, the next thing we'll round though is to import what we copied. So we'll go to apps and click and search for bulk. So we'll just search bulk and here we go, bulk read. You now click enter data manually. Here you have name, just click control V and you see we have all of what we copied so that you can see them. 31 of them. Next thing we want to do is click done. 
And remember where we have tip here. So click on tip here under the sign. Click these three dots and then click connect data. And we want to connect it to the tip, meaning the tip is all the tips that we have on all of that is going to stay here. Now where we have the hashtags, so click the three dots again, connect data and connect. Perfect. Now we want to click continue and let it generate it for us. If you have your branded template, brilliant. You can also use your branded template, create from scratch, and this basically saves you hours of time. It saves you lots and lots and lots of time. So this is what we have. You can see we have 31 of them. Exactly, we have 31 of them like this. So let me reduce the size so you can see what I mean. Brilliant, already created 31 content for us. So you can now begin to edit each slide. So I'm just going to increase this. Now this is brilliant. I can, I want to reduce the text size for this. I don't want the hashtags to be all up in my face. So I like this. I like how this is. I'm just going to reduce it further. Then move it right here. You can actually just decide to leave it like that, but I think I prefer it this way. So we just reduce the size a bit. Take this up a bit. Then I'm also going to reduce this. So that's all of them. Make sure they are well aligned. Yeah. So align to center as well. And this is what we have. You can also choose to, so I'm just going to lock this so that there's no change. Then I want to move this a bit. I don't like the way it is too far apart. So I'm just going to shoot this as well. Brilliant. So we can also choose to change the background. So I'm just going to go to element and search for workout. Then go to photos. You can choose to change it to a picture, a video, anything. So I just want to change it to this picture. Then I'm going to click with place background. Yeah, and that's what we have. You can also choose to let's edit this as well. For example, let's say my brand color is black, or I just want to change this pink to black. The same thing. You can also decide to change it black or any color that is under your brand kit. You can add your brand colors right here. And that is all we have. Now we can begin to edit each slide or just leave it how we initially created it. So you can see, so let me expand this. So this, each of the slide have an animation and we can also choose to delete the animation. Let's say we do not want the animation. We can choose to take the animation out. So to take the animation out, I just click here, click animation here. And I just click remove all animations. Here as well, you click the same thing and right to remove all of the animations here as well. Do the same thing, click on it and choose to click any of the animations here and apply to all pages or for example, something simple or enter and all of that. But here I just want to remove all animations. So again, we can also, another thing you can do is choose a style from any of these colors here, you can choose to create your own style or use any of the styles. So for example, want to use, let me look for a color palette, looking for something interesting. There's five brands and fits into a fitness brand. So let's use this and we can decide to apply it to all images. And you can see the colors are changed across platforms. So there are different ways you can choose to play around this and you can choose to edit it. Me, I prefer leaving it as a video or as an image. So it all depends on your preference. But this now has helped you create 30 days worth of Instagram Reels in just one click. You should also know that when using chat GPT, it is important that I mention give it all the prompts that it needs. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section.